next up we're going to take a look at coaching and um, hopefully this shouldn't take too long because in my opinion it's fairly straightforward once you've uh, had a quick look at it um, when you first start um, a new game or you first join a new club one of the first things you want to do is take a look at your staff um, and on this page this is where you get to see like all your coaches and your scouts and everything um, you want to go through all of your coaches um, and have a look at all of the individual stats so if we click on Eric Harrison here we can look here and this has all the coaching stats so on one side you've got their actual coaching so things like um, technical attacking defending etc and on the right we've got the uh, mental stats um, so what you're looking for is well obviously you want for <coughs> um, for a good coaching team you want high coaching stats so 16 in mental is good but other than that he's not too great maybe working with youngsters but for a normal coach that's not really that important um, in terms of mental for coaches you probably if it's a foreign coach you want high adaptability and ideally good determination and motivating if you want to get the most out of your coaches but as you can see this guy he's he's not the best coach for a club like Liverpool and um, let's take a look at Martin Hunter this guy's a bit more evenly spread across the board he's got reasonably strong mental stats and reasonably strong coaching stats all over apart from goalkeepers but that's not too important because goalkeepers have their own coach um, okay and if you look to the left here you can see um, it says coaching qualifications continental pro license now for staff that have less than a continental pro license you can usually go up here to uh, contract they'll have the option to send on course which means say they have um, the B license or the A license but they haven't got the pro license yet you can send them on a course to get the pro license and what that does is it increases their um, attributes according to their potential because like players and um, coaches also have potential so by doing that you can increase their attributes which is useful if you've got a couple of coaches that uh, aren't that great so for example we can see here um, he's already got a continental A license and he's currently on a course studying for the pro license I haven't actually sent him on that course he's just done that out of his uh, own accord which can happen um, <coughs> so that's the first thing you want to do is flick through and have a look at the coaches you've got and then when you've done that you want to head over to training and you can see up here it's got overview team individual and coaches and you want to go to coaches this takes you to the uh, overall coaching screen if we just order them by their job you can see here are our three coaches we looked at before and um, if you look all the way across we've got all the different categories for coaching and you'll notice all the stars underneath all these boxes well what you do is say uh, Let's have a look at tactics. See down here, we want to try and get the overall, which is this bit along the bottom, to five stars, which we're not going to be able to do because I haven't got the right staff in. But that's just uh, the overall aim. So, for example, we want Martin Hunter coaching tactics. That brings it up to three and a half. And then by adding coaches, well, the coaches I have aren't too good, but you know, the the, the more stars you can plow in from coaches, the higher that rating is going to be so if you wanted um, five stars in that you're going to need to bring in coaches that have high tactics rating on their um, if we have a quick look high tactics which is this one here so he's only got we have no coaches that really specialize in it at the moment but that's what you want to do to uh, and get that rating up down there but you need the reason you need to bring in um, quite a few coaches is because the more you spread out because you can see under the individual coach what their uh, ability is in that area but <coughs> if you start spreading them out as you can see the stars in that area goes down and that affects the uh, rating down here so the more coaches you have it just allows for increased specialization which in turn means that you're going to get better star ratings down here um, in regards to uh, you know um, fitness coaches and under 21 coaches and all that kind of stuff you can see who's coaching what by uh, well right now we're looking at the first team so all these coaches here are working with the first team um, to see the others you go under 21s um, training coaches and then you can see all the coaches that are working with the under 21s and then we can go to under 18s coaches and you know, as you can see there are different coaches here because you've got the under 18 coaches helping out um, so that's how you have a look at that and also actually just one more thing while I'm on that screen let's go back to it as you can see 
in uh, the latest in the new football manager you can actually assign yourself to uh, help out with the coaching which is uh, interesting for sure it's one of the new features um, but if you, you know if you can't be bothered with any of this you've got the ask assistant to assign up here um, which automatically assigns everything as best it can but you're not guaranteed to have the uh, the best results by doing that but you know I know it's it's not for everyone um, so the next thing is when it comes to the training it's not just about assigning coaches there are other things as well so you've got individual training which gives you an overview of the individual training that every player in your squad is on and I mean this goes for the under 21s and under 18s as well um, but <coughs> this is basically an overview of the same screen you get to by going to the player development training um, by this screen you can see it'll have arrows when players um, have improved or decreased on stats over here it'll have a green arrow pointing up for a stat increase or a red arrow pointing down for a stat decrease there's none at the moment because it's only the 14th of July in this game so not many games have actually been played um, but over here you have focus so this is how you can put players on individual training regimes so you can choose to increase a specific attribute if you want or train them for a specific role so if I pick central defender uh, defend they are the stats that are going to be uh, focused on for this and you can choose the intensity um, you want to be careful with that though because players can become unhappy if it's too heavy for them or if they're not doing enough they'll also complain um, and you can choose it in a sp specific attribute if you want to focus on one thing um, or if you want you can choose a different position so I can train him as a, a left back and you can see under here the breakdown of how all these things are being trained um, you can use here to do a preferred move so um, let's have a quick look let's go Mike Marsh defending training it'll come up with all the options that we have for uh, Sarko so you can ask him to stop throwing himself into tackles for example and there you go he's going to start working on it although he recommends that we don't um, and again there's the breakdown so that's the kind of information you'll see here when it's being so now on the overview you can see it's confirmed there um, and if you look here it's going to give you uh, an overview of what's going on so you can see the training happiness there and the feedback about his training and one other thing is if we look at someone like um, I don't know who's a senior player let's have a look at Johnson if we go back to that training screen you can also see um, players that he's eligible to choose them. but I'm gonna focus on that a bit more on the uh, video about how you uh, get the most out of youth um, back to staff a quick word about uh, about um, fitness coaches and goalkeeping coaches they tend to coach the senior squad the under 21s and the uh, under 18s they don't um, differentiate between them as far as I'm aware um, the next important thing when you're getting the most out of your coaching is the facilities um, you can view that by going club and facilities and you can see training facilities great um, great's not top I think either state of the art or excellent is top I can't actually quite remember. sorry just knocked the microphone over either great um, sorry either excellent or state-of-the-art are the uh, top ones great is near the top but not quite um, and you know it goes down as well There's great good poor and all of them um, to get the most out of your coaches and see the biggest improvements in your players you need to upgrade them really and you do that by going to the board make board request facilities improve training facilities and um, they're probably not going to do it for me at the moment because oh no they actually are so you improve the training facilities by uh, by doing that um, the other aspect of training is the team training um, this is generally what you do over the course of a season um, in between matches the first is general training over here on the left so that's focusing on uh, one specific thing for the whole team so maybe in the pre-season you'll choose fitness uh, maybe put fitness on high so that your players are fit for the start of the new season or if you signed a lot of players you'll do team cohesion but you have to be careful with this because if players are already doing individual training and they're already having having training sessions 
and you know, you've got the intensity level as high here you might be looking at getting some injuries so if you are going to try something like that maybe you want to tick these to allow rest before and after matches generally I don't allow rest before a match I only ever allow rest after match but that's just me um, on the right as well you've got the match preparation you'll get notes about this in your uh, in your inbox over here right before you um, play games because you, your uh, assistant manager will recommend what he thinks based on um, the next opponent but this is things like um, working on your defending specifically before a match or a defending or attacking set pieces maybe your opponent are weak at set pieces so you're going to focus on attacking right before the match um, it gives you an overview of the tactics being trained as well and all that kind of thing so you get a breakdown here of uh, how your tactics training are coming along so you can see that um, you're getting better at tempo and width but the uh, formations are still quite poor, mentality is poor etc etc um, you can also set it for a couple of weeks in advance just if you really want to get deep down and be really anal about this then you can be um, you can also go to staff uh, responsibilities if I can find where it is because you can set your staff to do a lot of this for you as well so um, is it your personal assistant or well, maybe you can't do it on this screen maybe it's only in your inbox you get the option to do it but it will come up in your inbox um, and you get the options to set all this so that you don't have to do any of it yourself if you choose but I think personally it's a good idea to keep an eye on it um, I mean, if you just give me one moment, I'll try and find where it is that you set that. I'm sure it's in staff responsibilities. Oh, there we go. Training runs match training for first team, runs individual training for senior players, etc. You can see it's all assigned to me, but you can go and you know set it to your assistant manager and whatnot. Um, I think for the most part that's everything you really need to know to get started with coaching. Like I said, it mainly comes down to searching for the best coaches and then having a, a bit of a tweak around, trying to get the most stars out of them. But um, this links quite nicely into uh, getting the most out of youth players, which is going to be one of the next videos I do because it ties in quite nicely. Um, so keep an eye out for that and once again, thanks for watching. Bye bye.